By the looks of the title, it looks like I hate this car. No, I do not hate this car. I love this car. But there are definitely five things that I can come up with that I absolutely hate. The first thing I absolutely hate is that it's front wheel drive. Mostly being it's the price range it is because it's front wheel drive. Unlike Subarus, I mean myself, I really wish I had a Subaru, but for the price range coming out of college, I'm saving up for my like almost dream car. This is more applicable for a hatchback that you could trick out, put a roof rack on, lower, put rims on, have a cool like rumble-ish sound. Uh, this is the closest thing to Subaru you can get for a good price. So with that said, you have to pay the price by having front wheel drive. Things that come along with front wheel drive is obviously the torque steer, uh, wheel hop if you don't have good enough motor mounts, which I have motor mounts and it still happens every now and then. Understeer is a thing. Um, you'll be coming in hot to a corner and you're just trying to get on the gas or whatever and trying to turn sharp and the car just goes straight instead of turns. Does it happen that often? No. Have I, ridden, have I driven it on a track yet? No. Would it happen on a track? Absolutely. But you just gotta slow down a little bit. Whatever. Just to also add, you have a uh, major tire uh, appreciation. You buy tires a lot. These last, these last tires I had, they're Yokohamas. They're, I think they lasted like 27,000 miles, and like I was like, they were bald, like sketchy bald. I just bought new Yokohamas. I really like them. The W rated. Uh, they cost me about s the first set from discount cost me 750 at the door. This new place called San Diego Wheel and Tire Outlet hooked it up for 650 out the door. I think. So, look for the, the good deals. The second thing I hate the most about this car, the second thing, I'm gonna have to show you inside. Mazda, Mazda, you freaking killed it with the interior, I think. But, uh, yeah, real smooth by adding the tan. Like my buddy Jeff, I'll link his channel below. He agrees. Uh, the tan pillars and the roof and black, everything else. What were you thinking? I only reasonable thing I can think of is that they used the same as the Mazda 3 and they didn't have any black interior in Mazda 3's that year so they went the cheap route and decided oh we'll just throw what the rest of the Mazda 3's have and put them uh, the same color even though the Mazda Speed has the black and I don't know but what were you thinking? Literally, I mean, there isn't one girl who thinks about this kind of stuff out there when you get in your car, but I mean, I look at it every day and every speed owner goes, what the heck were you thinking, Mod? The third thing I hate about this car is that the shifter is a cable, and so that means from the shift knob all the way to the gearbox under the hood, it's a cable. So the things that could go wrong is it could break, which I've heard about people on the forums, that could happen, and... Um, it's just not as like notchy like you just don't have like a linkage or anything like that like other models Since it is front wheel drive the gearbox is in the front as well So that kind of sucks like going to third it just you can just tell it's a cable and you're just like It doesn't go it is, it's, Cables suck now the fourth thing I hate is that they're kind of a pain to work on I mean every time you got to do something under the hood You got to take the battery out there the air intake off I mean the normal stuff the intercooler off the top of it um, the downpipe was just a major pain uh, it's just not a good setup. I'll just leave that there, but I mean, at the end of the day, you, it's all doable. I've done videos of it all, as you guys seen, so it is all doable. It's just not very fun, I guess. So, that's the downfall. It is very rewarding because it's very hard sometimes, but I mean, it's whatever. I mean, eh. I think the fifth thing is that the coal car, it's not really a thing that I hate. It's a, uh, like, I don't know. I just think that it's very, it can be a stress wad mentally if you don't know exactly everything about the car and what you've done to it, I guess, and what you need to do it to it first. Um, I guess there's like, I'm gonna make a whole beginner's guide video to it, to Mazda Speed 3s, but I mean, you just gotta make sure that you have the right tune and then when you put parts on it that you have the right things. So, I mean, first things first, you gotta have fuel pump internals and then, but when you first get it, you're like, I wanna put an intake on it so I can hear the turbo. But then you're like, oh crap, then you do that. Then you throw an engine code because the motor's running lean and you don't know why. And then you do finally put internals on it, fuel pump internals, and then, um, I don't know, then there's other stuff like uh, you hear people that have 60,000 miles and their turbo starts smoking. I don't know if that's because they just hounded on it and they beat the crap out of the car or just bad luck. Um, but I mean, my car is 65,000 miles, it's running fine, but then you hear about people who have 150k miles, their turbo's completely fine, 
So, I mean, not everybody has problems, but some people do early on, and you're just kind of like, eh, like, it's like a ticking time bomb. Like, is that going to happen to me? I hope not. Um, but, I mean, driving out of town really far, as well as I take care of it, I mean, change the oil with less than 5,000 miles, uh, transmission fluid, I mean, just always make sure the radiator's full, just like cleaning it a lot, under the hood, taking care, your air filter's always clean, just doing the regular maintenance stuff. There's only so much you can do and it just kinda, I feel like I'm just kinda stressed out all the time because you have so many parts on it and it, and it's not like I'm pushing the 85 mega horsepower breaking axles yet, but when you do get that far, you sign up for problems like that. But uh, we will get there, of course. Um, but, I don't know, it's just like the whole car can be kind of a stress wad if, like more so than like, it's not like I'm driving a Honda, stock Honda Civic, you know, you could drive that thing to 300k miles and drive it across the country and back, but not really the case with these because you gotta know, make sure that you like you have the proper tune with all your parts and everything and then you call and make sure everything's gonna work but like your little things like your stage two off the shelf uh, you're pushing out more boost than the stage two off the shelf before you get a tune because you have a catless downpipe and the stage two tune was made for a high flow cat not a catless and then you have a boost spike and then your boost spike hits and your turbo cuts off and you're scared for your life because you think your car kind of just went had a major problem but I don't know there are certain crazy things that I can go into all those if you have questions comment down below but uh, I don't know there's just a lot of things that can happen I'm glad thankful for all of you guys that have helped in the comments and stuff below and all the research I've done myself and talked to my friends like Jeff and Bugham all day long about problems and things that could go wrong um, just do your research and uh, make sure you look at everything before you do it and look to your friends or comment on people's Instagram pictures and ask for help and stuff like that that have the similar cars and everything like that. Uh, don't try and go alone and blind because you might end up messing something up. So, uh, But yeah, I think that's it. Other than that, the car runs fantastic. I've taken it out of town. I've driven it 35, over 35, 40,000 miles already. Uh, not a single problem really. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I really... Uh, those are the five things I hate. Thanks guys for watching and I'll uh, see you guys next video. I can bag on this car all I want, but I mean, once you hear the sound, you're like, ha, 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 I love it.